This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hello and happy Friday. God bless you. I'm Pastor A.D., Pastor of True Vine, MBC here in Houston, Texas, and I thank you so much for joining us for the pastoral moment. This is the time I get to encourage and enlighten you with the Word of God, and today I want to encourage you to have more enthusiasm for Christ. You got to have it. You got to have it. I mean, it's time. Whenever you're doing God's will, you must be excited about it. Be glad about it. Be joyful about it. Be happy about it. Be elated about it. And it's very important that we do that. Just to have that, that smile and that go about ourselves. And that, like, I got to keep pressing for Christ. Got to keep going for Christ. I got to keep doing it. I got to keep preaching. I got to keep teaching. I got to keep reaching out to people. You just got to have that enthusiasm, man, and just be happy and, um, that you are a part of the church. You're part of his elected. And that's the point. We, we are the elected. Those who are in the church, we're the elected. We were chosen by Christ. So why not have enthusiasm for what he has done for us? God is so good. And so the Bible uses several different words for this idea of being filled with enthusiasm. And that's order, zeal, zeal um, wholeheartedness. My personal favorite is eager. Eager, be eager. So when you, when you are eager, you are enthusiastic about your service to God and to others. This idea is taught again and again in the New Testament. And we are told, here go the verses, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth it to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, no device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. So whatever your hand findeth to do, do it. Why not? Do it for, for God. Do it. Do it. There's work to do. There's always work to do for Christ. There's always something to do for Christ. And so that's what we got to learn to do. Hey, just do it for Christ. Do it for God. Keep that on your mind. You're doing it for Christ. No matter how tired you get, no matter how, how you may feel that day, just do it for Christ. That's what it's about. We are building, helping you to build God's kingdom. Then we have 1 Corinthians 9, 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all. But one, only one, receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. So we got to learn to run this race. Don't quit. Yes, we're going to get tired, weary at times, but you got to keep going. You got to keep running and you, and you feed and you get hungry, but you feed off the Bible. You feed off the word of God. You feed off of Christ. You feed off the Holy Spirit. That's your feeding off of. That's your strength. That's your energy. That's your energy. So continue to run after Christ for the prize because we're going after the prize, right? Pressing towards the mark of the high calling, which is Christ Jesus. He's the prize. So we're pressing towards that prize, which which is Christ Jesus. We got to keep pressing. We got to keep going. So keep running this race. I know you don't feel well. I know you I know, I know you have situations. You got issues, things going on in your life. However, keep running for Christ. Be diligent and keep going. Be relentless. Keep going. Just go after Christ. Be eager after Christ. Just go. Then we have Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto man. So, of course, our job is not to please man, but to please who? God is to please God. That's who we please. That's, that's the one we please. We don't please men. It's hard to please men. We are so wishy and washy. You know, one day we're like this. The next day we're like this, you know. And so it's hard to please a person. So whatever we do, let's do it from the heart with the whole heart. And let's do it for Christ. And then we have be eager to serve. That's 1 Peter 5 and 2. 1 Peter 5 and 2. Be eager to serve. We got to be eager to serve. Be ready to go. Whenever we're called upon, hey, be ready to go. And if you're not called upon, just raise your hand and, and hey, just be willing to do something for Christ. Be eager for the gifts of the Spirit. That's 1 Corinthians 14 and 12. Be eager for the gifts of the Spirit. So have it in eager willingness for Christ. So you, have, you want to utilize your gifts. Don't bury your talents, but utilize them. And then we have have an eager willingness to finish the work of faith we've begun. So you, that's 2 Corinthians 8 and 11. You must have that eager willingness, man. You got to be ready to work for Christ, to finish the work of faith that we've begun. If you started this, you got, hey, you got to continue on with it. Don't stop in the middle of it. Don't stop at the beginning, but keep going. Keep going until your dying day. Work for Christ until your time comes to an end on this earth. And that way, you have established your crowns in heaven. I'm telling you, you have plenty, plenty of good seeds and your seeds 
did not fall on bad ground. And wait in eager expectations. We must learn to wait in eager expectations for God. That's Romans 8 and 9. And we must do that. We must learn to wait when it's time to wait. And sometimes God is, we're not waiting on God. God is waiting on us. You know, so that's another thing. So but we got to be eager, have that type of eager expectation, knowing that God is going to come through, knowing he's going to rescue us, knowing he's going to deliver us, knowing he's going to bring us out, knowing he's going to pave the way, knowing he's going to make a way, knowing he's going to provide. So we got to learn to do that, knowing he is the provider, knowing he is a healer, knowing, knowing that he's going to do these things. So we got to be eager um, for Christ, have those eager expectations. I can always depend on God. I can't depend on man, but I can depend on God at all times. And then we have the last one is Titus 2 and 14. Be eager to do what is good. Be eager to do what is good. So God will help you maintain enthusiasm. He will help you overcome all difficulties, all tragedies, all sorrows, all heartaches, and he will give you the what? The victory. Yes, you give the victory because we already have the victory, right? So be eager to do what is good at all times. You know, be, be eager, be happy to do what is good. I mean, you, you once were happy when you were doing wrong. So when you were doing wrong, you were doing wrong when you were in the world. But now that you are in Christ, you're a new creation. All in the, in Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. And so we must keep that in mind and be eager for God, knowing that all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and for those who are called according to his purpose. So God bless you. May you have a blessed Friday and may you have a blessed weekend. But tune in Sunday for the word of God. And thank you so much for all your support for this channel. Thank you so much. And share, share this channel. Share it, share it, share it. Put, place it on, put it uh, on Facebook. Share it. Just share it everywhere. Twitter. Just share it. Share it with your loved ones. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. God bless you. Until next time, we're here at True Vine. We love you. We thank you for everything you're doing. And you want to know why? Because we're True Vine and we are the Church of Love. God bless. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and join our online Christian family. Tithes, offerings, and donations can be made via Cash App at dollar sign TVMBC or by mail at True Vine Missionary Baptist Church, 1407 Grove Street, Houston, Texas, 77020. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.